<laughs> oh my gosh, dude. What's happening guys, Lawson here this morning with buddy Max Kinley in the back. We're actually on his boat and the game plan is to look for big giant gator trout and maybe some reds and snook, but mainly big giant trout. Max, if you don't know who he is, he's fishing, I think one video with me before, but he's a guide. He actually guides for redfish in Louisiana, but summertime he's grown up in Florida and he's gonna be guiding, what well, you've guided like two years now in Stewart to Vero, Indian River area. Yeah, yeah. I'm yes. gonna be coming back for the summer. So, he's a guide in Louisiana for some of the biggest, gnarliest red fishing you've ever seen in your life. I grew up around here in Florida and is an incredible guide and he's been helping me out a lot learning these things about like redfish and trout and stuff that I really haven't done that much of. And this morning, we're gonna see if we can find some big trout. Oh. Dude, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. Oh, oh. That little trout? Or... <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that feels like a jack. <laughs> I worked it out of that fish right there. <laughs> Perfect. Exactly what I wanted to do. Flip them off by the boat. That was too funny, man. I like just like kept popping it, popping it. I like made that fish work for it. Oh my gosh, that instantly hit the water and something ate it. I think it's just a little jack. I think there's a school of them. I don't know, it could be, but it's hasn't come to the surface. <laughs> yeah, it's just a bigger jack. All right, it's like probably like three pounds or so. Pull that right over some manatee heads. Oh my gosh! That like landed and it ate. Cool. You think that's trout? <laughs> it literally like landed, twitched it once, and it was just like. It's just holding. This thing's got me scared. Yeah, I think it's a good one. I do as well. Oh my gosh, that's a trout, dude. Here, heads up real quick. I'm gonna drop this. Just be aware that there's a little tiny rope with a little Dude, if this is a trout, it is huge. Oh my lord. Manny. Manford man. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, we are hooked up on top water. I think I've already, I've already caught a jack, jumped one off next to the boat. And if this is a trout, it's big. I, it's, it's big if it is. I have my concerns that this may end up being a jack. But I don't know, he was doing some classic trout flopping on the surface and... Redfish, red what? <laughs> yeah, bro. That is not what I was... Here too, that is not what I was expecting. Max was ready with the net. He was like, dude, if this is your PB trout, I don't want this thing to come off next to the boat. Have you handled one of these before, Max? This is my first time. <laughs> this is your first time I've ever seen a redfish? Yeah. This is my first time. Come on, you scumbag. What is that, a red fish? <laughs> oh, that, oh my god. Cool. All right, I don't really care. <laughs> that was cool, red. Dude. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> it doesn't help when you try to hoist your fish vertically upwards on a 21500 spinning reel. Uh, bro. Like, it makes your heart... Like, they get out there, dude, and their tail goes like... Whoop, 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 on the surface. Oh, I love... That's like my favorite thing about fishing for trout on top water, particularly, is when they eat a top water, it's like the like the loud eat of their mouth and oh, then their yeah. tail coming up around the backside and just going doosh. When you hook a big one, you know it, like, period. Dude, that red smoked it. Yeah. Nice Hit a... <laughs> Dude, they're eating. I should probably try to land one of these fish at one point. Dude, I think this might be another red. Dude, the fish are going off. Oh my! All right, I don't want to. I don't want to hook one because I want to eat one. If yours is a trap, don't want to yours. I don't think it's a jack. That's for sure because it's just kind of it's being way too calm. I want to see what you are. Um, these fish are not being kind to me. They're red. 
I can't tell yet. Get out from underneath the boat and let's see what you are. I'm just like, I've popped more. Watch out for that anchor back there. I've popped so many fish off now next to the boat already. Might be red. Yeah, yeah red. Yeah. But dude, he and munched it. it. It is like. They're annihilating it. I'm that, just gonna get him in the net. Yeah, it's actually, a, I think, bigger yeah, it's than the slot. first one. Upper slot for sure. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Holy. Nice fish. <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, absolute stud. He is so much bigger than I thought he was. Yeah, dude, he's a solid upper slot fish. Beautiful, beautiful red fish right there. Oh my gosh, I popped one off next to the boat. That was probably like two or three inches shorter than this one, but this one is a tank. And he's croaking away. And I think I see why that other redfish popped off because my treble hook on the back hook is missing, I just realized. <laughs> epic, epic morning already. And the sun isn't even really up yet. The fish are going off, so we're not gonna take too much time to celebrate. We're gonna release this thing and get back to throwing. Good morning. Well, the second fish. One treble hook on this top water. They better eat it good. <laughs> We need total T-bonage for them to eat this thing. Max is on. Dude, that's a big red. trout. Oh, it's a red? Yeah. Dang it. Dude. Oh, he's popped. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, it popped off whatever ate it and then something sped up and ate it again. Absolutely insane. Dude, this thing is coming right at me. It's a snook. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Max with probably what you think like 24? Eh, 20. 25, something like yeah. that. Yeah. 25 and I got a little little squeaky snook. I'll be honest, that's not what I expected to come up and eat that. I think we've seen a few of these before, right? <laughs> Alright, we're stepping up our game here. I'm actually gonna throw a big five inch spook right here. See if we can really pick out a big fish out of this crowd out here. There's clearly a ridiculous amount of fish. But maybe the big top or the big trout just want to eat a big giant mullet. Oh my god! That was a big trout, yeah, dude. Was, dude. The biggest trout I ever saw in my life. Did that exact. I, I don't get worked up about any fish more than a big trout. There it is. <laughs> that was. Gosh, that hook set, I went about 10 miles backwards <laughs> on it because I have fluoro on this reel. <laughs> this could be a trout. Yeah, trout. That was a five inch spook too. Oh, was it a blue fish? It's a blue. It's a blue? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, bring me in the boat. You won't see a blue fish for three years. Bring me in the boat, you'll start catching them. Oh my gee. Chill your jet, bro. Thinking. Blue fish. That is now trout. Or no, no trout. We actually haven't caught trout yet. Red fish, snook, blue fish, jack. I was like tying on this big, bigger top water. I was like, it's gotta be a big fish that tries to eat it. Or it can just be a blue fish, something with teeth that doesn't need to be big to eat it. <laughs> I mean, that's crazy that there's that many different fish mixed in here right now. Oh, that was a trout. I think. I don't know. I say that. Dude, the big spook. Oh! Yeah, okay. Another blue. All right. If you're wondering why I'm pulling so many fish off, it's because I'm being a doofus and just literally hammering these in. If you saw all the red fish that we actually landed, I fought him much more gently and we landed them. <laughs> Pro tip, don't try to horse your fish in. That's how you lose them. Yeah, that works, huh? yeah, it's funny that when you try to yank the lure out of the fish's mouth, that sometimes it'll pull out of their mouth. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, that was like the trout slapper. It wasn't like a mondiferous one, but it was a mid 20 or looked like. Eat it, you scum. A scumbag trout for sure. 
Top doggy. Yeah, I mean, I love water, but... I literally just thinking about... Oh, 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 my. Nice <laughs> that was a good wake up on that thing. Or they do whatever they want. What the hell is yeah, this? I mean, they're like, this is another bluefish. Is a bluefish. Nice big bluefish. This thing is being a spaz and will literally not chill out for me to unhook them. So that's always fun. I say we're off to an okay start in terms of the amount of fish that we've caught. Our top water bite is uh, on the tail end right now. I think we could probably squeak out one or two more, but I think it's gonna be time to start fishing some slower baits or swim baits, scrimps, that type of stuff. But my Lord, I mean, I've landed, I mean, I've landed four fish on top water, but I've probably hooked 10. Mm -hmm. And just because we're like, we're really on a big trout mission. And the fish that haven't been trout, we've just been like cranking on them super hard. Hey yo. I really thought those bluefish, they are eating very similar to the trout, but when they start fighting, it's like very Obvious. apparent. Yeah. All right, we have re-rigged after throwing the top water sesh this morning right now swim bait on the bait caster then got a artificial shrimp on the spinning rod max is up front working shrimp still looking for the big trout but it's already been an absurd morning for sure there's the fish i just reeled into that one I literally was just like reeling and it felt super heavy. Like I didn't even feel the eat. It feels decent. This might be what we're looking for. Yeah? I don't know. No. Bluefish? Freaking. Give me a break. Bluefish? Yeah, I think so. It's fighting like a mother though. I'll try and turn them. No, you're good. <laughs> God. This thing is going insane. I don't even know what number of bluefish that is for me. Yeah. That's crazy because I don't think you've even hooked one, have you? Dude, this thing's a tank. <laughs> This is a nice bluefish for South Florida and what, what month is it, April? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Big fat Florida blue. <laughs> I'll show you guys what that thing did to my uh, my poor swim bait. <laughs> you can kind of see where he bit that, I think. It's like the most comical, perfect bite mark I've ever seen out of a soft plastic before. So, at the moment, I'm on the polling, or yeah, I'm on the polling platform. Max is up front. We're just kind of slowly working a flat, looking for reds and trout. We've already seen a few. We're gonna fish really slow. There's a gross amount of mullet on this flat right now. Oh, hey, 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 I got a red for you. Um, you're like three o'clock, you're literally like, I can see him from here, he's kind of far. You see him now? He's facing directly at you right now. He's facing at me? Yeah, he's like looking directly at you. And now he's turning towards me. Pool? Yeah, I see him. Okay. He didn't move. That could do it. He still hasn't moved. He is uh, scampered off now. You put like all of your cast I mean we're like on him he didn't show any interest in them <laughs> I don't know what that is a little fish though but oh my little snook he is tiny but he has broken my slump little snook right there 
not, I mean, this actually might be probably the smallest fish of the entire day. We caught a ton of fish really early on, and then it's just been kind of slow goings, but not surprising. But Max and I have decided to kind of try our best to grind through it. Back home, long, long day on the water. Max and I fished from 6 a.m. till about 4 in the afternoon. We took a lunch break in between, but it was a very long day of fishing. And it was one of those weird days where in the first 30 minutes, we caught 95% of our fish. And I mean, we crushed it. We're practically shaking off redfish and bluefish by the boat because we're just looking for that big giant gator trout. But an absolutely epic morning crushing fish on top water. Then did a lot of sight fishing. And I didn't show a ton of it because we didn't really hook any fish sight fishing. We saw some redfish, saw some giant trout, some big snook, but never really lucked out or hooked up. Just didn't happen. But it was an insane, insane day. That is it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Go check out some of Max's links below. I'll put his Instagram, his YouTube, and his website down there. If you do want to fish with him, the kid knows what he is doing. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. That'll keep you up to date whenever I post a video. That's it. We're done. Until the next one, peace.